OMG, it's Hemi Thoughts! Hello, and welcome to Hemi Thoughts. Um, this past week, it's been kind of boring. I went home for fall break, so that was fun. I gained, I think, three pounds in three days. It's, well, it's for the blubber. It, it serves an actual purpose. It's going to get cold soon, so I, I need to gain as much weight as possible before you know the wind slaps my face. And then um, I've been working on my 281 project. That was horrible. Still not done, but it's okay. I have a few days left, and uh, and uh, I think that it's going to work out in the end. It always does. Um, right now, I'm in the library, as is everyone, because it's the end of fall break. Um, it's packed. Like, actually, it's not that packed. Huh, U of M needs to step up their library game. It's not as packed as I thought it would be, but it's nice to be back in Ann Arbor. Um, my parents always cry when they drop me off, but it's okay, because I'm not going to die or anything, so I'm just like, stop crying. And then I cry tears of joy when I leave. What are you talking about? They're always happy to see me again. Well, I never said they, they're sad to leave, <laughs> but uh, they might be crying tears of joy. Who knows? They were actually my original guests, but um, my mom didn't want to do it, so, yep, I have, I have another guest. Um, my guest here is Yoav. Say hi, Yoav. Hey there. So, Yoav, um, even though you're kind of like my backup guest, I've been meaning to interview you mm-hmm. <clears throat> at the request of Joe Payne. Shout out to Joe. Um, so, tell us, Hemi Thoughts listeners, about your past seven days. Uh, all right. So, since Friday, I've been aggressively running away from all of my responsibilities by going home. And now that I'm back here, I'm in the library aggressively running back towards those responsibilities. Sad that I ran away from those responsibilities, but depending on how the exams go, I guess I'll know how actually sad I am for running away from my responsibilities. Before that, I was... Honestly, every week of school feels like it like sucks me in entirely. And then I never really know what happened in the last week as soon as I got out of it. So the past week was like all the other ones, it really feels like. But that's a pretty negative approach on that, isn't it? But at the same time, I feel like it's kind of true still. That is life in general. It's week to week, day by day, hemi thoughts by hemi thoughts. Um, so first question I have for you. Hmm, I'm just going to make one up right now. Okay, what is, what is uh, something that makes your time go really fast? Uh, so I feel like sleep is the obvious answer, so I won't go for that one. But uh, definitely the thing that makes the time go fastest for me, because Netflix is also not an exciting answer. I don't know. Uh, something that really makes time fly for me is probably, uh, yeah, running away from my responsibilities easily. Because I feel like somehow when I'm studying, time goes by really slowly, which is really, like, I'm thankful for in some sense, because uh, that gives me a lot of time to study or perceived time to study. But I feel like the second I start procrastinating, the days just fly through. So, yeah, some component of that is definitely Netflix, but I feel like it's something bigger. Yeah. I see this underlying theme of running away from your responsibilities. Um, what else? What else can I ask you? Very insightful answer. Oh, there's been a ton of ladybugs. Uh, uh, I don't know why, but when I went into North Quad to get my stuff back in my room, there's like a ton of ladybugs everywhere by the entrance. I don't know what is going on, which I think is a good sign because we've been having um, a decrease in ladybug population. But it seems like they're okay now, so I'm gonna start squishing them. Um, second question. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite? What's your favorite deli meat? Oh god, I have such a controversial answer to this one actually. By far it's liver. Liver is easily the best deli meat. There isn't I would claim that there does not exist a deli sandwich that you cannot put like some nice like liver pate onto that wouldn't improve the overall sandwich experience. Zero questions. Even if it's a vegetarian sandwich, just don't tell them what it is. Like by far best deli meat. Perfect compliment to anything, improves any sandwich, no competition. Wow, that was a really weird answer, but now I know something new about you. Oh my god, what the heck? I spend my my days trying to sabotage vegetarians. It's one of those things I do to run away from my responsibilities and make time fly. Well, uh, okay, I should probably try liver really soon if you're that adamant. Jeez, that's weird. (laughs) Okay, third and last question. Um, What is crucial to a good co-worker relationship? Uh, You need to, I think... In any relationship, even extending past coworker relationships, uh, the most important thing is to not be afraid to just really be upfront and rude with each other. Because sometimes you don't have like the 10 minutes to explain to someone why someone's idea is bad. You don't have the time to like totally soften it up and cover it. You just need to let them know, yo, this is honestly a pretty shit idea and here's why. You just got to be able to be upfront with them. So I think in any relationship, whether romantic, friendship, or professional style relationship, being able to be really upfront is the best thing. Because uh, there's often times you don't want to have the patience to just like really uh, soften something up for someone. So just getting to be upfront with them and not fear the consequences. It can really make sure that you don't get exhausted spending time with each other and that you can actually like be comfortable and things of that sort so yeah very interesting so metaphorically it's like well giving them an uncooked unspread liver Mm. instead of you know mushing it up and making it all tasty yeah it's the perfect compliment to any relationship there does not exist a relationship that isn't improved by either a liver or b upfront communication i agree communication is key (laughs) um well, it seems like you have all your priorities in line for making good relationships. I'm glad to hear that. Um, this has been a very short but very recent episode of Hemi Thoughts. Catch you guys next time. Uh, yeah, so any of the delis on campus have sandwiches that include leather, or rather, liver, not leather. Hemi Thoughts. Thank you.